Hello everyone, uh, I hope you are well. I wanted to continue my legend series and today I wanted to give one of uh, uh, Pakistan's uh, legendary players, uh, Hanif uh, Mohammed, who also held the record uh, for more than 35 years for the highest uh, first class uh, score of 499, which uh, Brian Rara broke in 94. He was born 21st December in, 19, in 19, uh, 21st December 1934 in uh, British India, and at his peak, I mean, he was considered as one of, considered as uh, one of the leading batsmen in the world, and especially at a time when uh, Pakistan played uh, very little Test cricket in those days. Uh, in 1968, he was uh, selected as uh, one of the Wisden Cricketers of the Year as well, and he was called the original Little Master. That title later on went to Sunil Gavas, Gundapa Vishwanath, Sunil Gavaska and Sachin Tendulkar, but he was called the Little Master originally. And he played 55 test matches for Pakistan and he scored 3,915 runs. And he's had an average of 43.98, which was a very high average considering the time Pakistan was playing. And he scored 12 hundreds as well. And his highest was a very famous uh, 337 that came against uh, West Indies at, uh, at Bridgetown in 1957-1958. Uh, so that was that is the statistics of uh, Hanif Mohammed. And in first class cricket, he scored more than 70,000 runs at an average of about 52. And his uh, high, he scored 55 hundreds also. And his highest score was that magical 499. Uh, that was a record for more than 35 years. Uh, he in 1958-59. That is when uh, Hanif Mohammed scored that 499. Uh, he scored that uh, for Karachi in a local match against uh, Bhopal, and uh, he surpassed uh, Sir Don Bradman's uh, highest uh, first-class individual score. And he that's when he put that 499. And it was sad. I mean, he went for his uh, 500th run and he was run out. Uh, that's why he ended on 499. And that 499 was a world record for more than 35 years, like I said, and it was broken in 1994 by Mral when he scored 501 for Warwick Share, which is still the world record in first class cricket. And I have read a lot about Hanif Mohammed in old books, uh, and I've, uh, that 499 has stuck in my mind for a long time. I've read so many uh, articles about him as well. And uh, when the Pakistan former players Akram Asim, Akram Ramis Raja, they all talk about him a lot. I mean, he was like a legendary batsman for uh, Pakistan. And uh, in 1957 58, that's when his famous uh, 337 came against uh, West Indies at Bridgetown. And it was a six day test, uh, by the way. I mean, in the old times, uh, there were uh, test matches that was played for six days. And uh, Pakistan were in big trouble. I mean, the first innings deficit, they had 473 runs a deficit on the first innings uh, in the third afternoon. And then uh, Hanif Mohammed went to bat and he batted for more than 16 hours. And he scored that 337. And he helped uh, Pakistan to draw the match. And that is still the longest uh, test innings uh, in the history of cricket. It was also the longest uh, first class. Uh, First class innings uh, uh, for more than 40 years, uh, but it was broken later on. But it is still the high, longest test innings uh, by a test cricketer. And another big thing, I mean, that 337 that Hanif Mohammed scored in Bridgetown, West Indies, is still the highest uh, score, um, test score made by a batsman in an away test. Not in a home test, but in an away test. So that is another fine uh, record in uh, Hanif Mohammed's uh, name. And the one, I mean, and once in Australia as well. I mean, he scored a hundred in the first innings, and in the second innings, uh, on when he was batting on ninety-three, he was given out stumped uh, by the umpire, and Hanif Mohammed uh, respected the umpire's decision, and he just walked uh, walked out. But later, the Australian uh, key wicket keeper uh, confirmed that uh, Hanif Mohammed was not, not was not out. So, and he was on 93, so he probably definitely probably would have gone on to score uh, 100 in the second innings as well. And that would have made him uh, one of the few batsmen to score 200s uh, in the same test match against Australia as well. But he scored 1200s in his uh, very short uh, test career and he was an uh, excellent batsman. And uh, he comes from a big uh, cricket family as well. I mean, Hanif Mohammed is uh, one of uh, five Mohammed brothers uh, and four of the brothers uh, played test cricket for Pakistan. 
Hani Bahamad one and a very famous uh, Mustaq, uh, Mustaq Muhammad is also a famous batsman for Pakistan. Sadiq Muhammad is also a famous batsman and uh, Wazir, uh, Wazir Muhammad also. So four, uh, four of them played uh, test cricket for Pakistan and uh, even Hanif Muhammad's son has played for Pakistan and a lot of his uh, niece, cousins, niece, I mean a lot of family members have played first class cricket as well and has been connected to the Pakistani team as well. So he comes from a big uh, cricket family and Hanif Muhammad also comes from a big sporting family. I mean his mother Amir B was a bad, national badminton champion of uh, pre-independence India. So that is another big, uh, uh, something big in uh, Hanif Mohamed's uh, life. I mean, his mother being a national badminton champion. So he definitely comes from a big sporting background. Uh, his mother's uh, exploits in badminton. And obviously, I mean, the four brothers are all playing for Pakistan as well. It's uh, probably a record as well. I think I don't think any other four brothers have ever played test cricket for the same country. A uh, very famous uh, uh, cricketing family. So Hanif Mohammed, I mean, uh, he used to score big runs uh, when he used to score them. And I mean, even uh, that the triple 100 that he scored, uh, the, that is the uh, slowest, slowest uh, uh, triple century ever scored. And he batted really long. And he, he, he was so well known for batting for long periods. I mean, he it was difficult to get him out and he could bat very, very long periods. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know what would have happened if he was playing in a, a later years in cricket. Maybe when he was playing in the 70s, 80s, uh, he probably could have achieved more. He could have scored more runs. He could have probably scored more centuries as well without any doubt. I mean, because he has proven that he's someone who can score uh, big runs. Uh, but at that time, when he was playing in the 1950s, 60s, uh, Pakistan were relatively a new team and uh, they didn't play much uh, test cricket. Uh, so that is... Uh, kind of what I have to say about uh, Hanif Mohammed. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. The highlights being, one of the things is that he was a, a, a ESPN Cricket Info originally called him the Little Master. He was the original Little Master uh, before Sachin Adulka, Sasun Gavaska, Gunnabhoshana. So that is a big thing. And then his 499, which was the highest uh, first class uh, uh, to individual total for more than 35 years before Brian Lara broke it and, and he holds, still holds two world records. One is that 337 is the highest score posted by any batsman in an away test match and his that innings of more than 16 hours is also the longest test innings in the history of cricket. So that is my video on uh, Hanif Mohammed, one of the legendary, legendary Pakistani players who is highly respected among the cricket circles and among Pakistani players as well and even other players have, see, have heard them speak a lot about Hanif Muhammad and he was uh, regarded as an absolute genius uh, legend and uh, that is why he uh, got the name of a little master. Anyway everyone please take care. Uh, thank you. I'm really happy that I shared this video of Hanif Muhammad. A lot of youngsters wouldn't know about him but it is very important to know uh, people like Hanif Muhammad who were legendary cricketers. Thank you everyone. Take care. God bless you.